Welcome to the finest and most educative entertainment show on the planet. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And to do today's analysis with me are some of the industry's brightest minds, Elsie Godwin and Ife Omai. And guests that would definitely blow your minds away. What's good, guys? Hmm. Hi, yeah. <laughs> 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 are you not part of the industry's uh, brightest yes, so, mind? Yeah, I am. I are am. you doubting yourself? No, uh -huh. I cannot do hmm in peace. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing today though? Well, How's your life? it was okay. I'm getting What's excited that weekend is coming. I know it's just Wednesday. But yeah, it's midweek already now. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I feel like this week has been long. Is it just me? No, I, I, I think it's everyone because somebody told me that I have a Friday vibe on a Wednesday. Hmm. And I'm like, okay, that sounds good. That's good news. That's and compliment, right? I, 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 I actually, yeah. Yeah, I tell you, don't know. Because on Fridays, you're about our worst behavior. Doesn't mean I'm on my worst behavior on the Wednesday. Who's telling who you this? Who's on our worst behavior on And who's Friday? our, we? Uh, who's we? I don't know about you guys, though. I'm on my worst behavior uh, on Fridays. Yeah, 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 it's cool. Don't it's cool. Don't worry. It's fine. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, you know, we have to move on. And then, yes, like I said earlier during the introduction, we have guests that would definitely blow your mind. So you don't want to change that station. Just stay glued to Plus TV Africa because we have a lot coming. But yes, you have to talk on the most pressing issues, and that is on the NSAS protest and um, what has been going on the aftermath of the protest. And it's been really crazy, and uh, it's been awkward, weird. What other everything. adjective do you Disturbing. have? Disturbing. Disturbing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me more adjectives. Let's keep everything. Up. Everything. We should just all the adjectives you can all think of. And negative adjectives as well because positive, um, negative, everything. Okay. A little bit of positive. A just bit. just a <laughs> little just a little bit of positive. At least our clean is positive. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's the aftermath for everyone and I think that happened while we were even protesting like we knew that we were woke. But right now, what is going on with the government and allegedly, before me to have to go and seek asylum, an activist, Kenechuku Okeke, has filed a criminal complaint before a chief magistrate court in Abuja against 50 persons for the alleged roles in the NSAS protest that took place last month. Okeke alleged that during the riot, his properties were destroyed and the defendants who promoted the NSAS protest must be brought to justice. Those listed as defendants include musician Damini Ogulu, popularly called Bonner Boy, David Adeleke, popularly called David Doe, Folari Falano, popularly known as Fouls the Bad Guy, and social media comedians Debo Adebayo, known as Mr. Macaroni, and Miriam Akpakagi, popularly known as Taoma. Other musicians sued include Peter and Paul Okoye, Innocent Idibia, Two-Face Idibia, of course, Bankole Wellington, popularly known as Banky W, Tiwa Savage, Michael Ajere, aka Don Jazzy, and Yemi Aladi. The case was institu instituted on Monday pursuant to sections 88 and 109 sub A and 110 sub 1 C of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015. In a supporting affidavit, OKK said <coughs> the defendant played active roles in the NSAS protest, which later became violent. He read in parts that the ten first to fifth to 50th accused person between the third day of October 2020 and the 20th day of October 2020 using Twitter and internet web source um, within the jurisdiction of this honorable court did conspire amongst themselves to commit misdemeanor. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. how he said in his tweet that um, they shouldn't, I mean, he was insinuating that no one should expect that he serves them um, the paper privately that this is digital era so once you are tagged and mentioned you should know you <laughs> yourself, you know something of that um, 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 area but I don't know I don't know the, there's some person you didn't mention that's quite interesting for me on that list is Samadhi I mean Pastor mm. Samadhi yeah, that's true. and I, I, I think that I, I like the mix I like that it wasn't like he's looking for people that he can quickly intimidate mm. and mm. puzzle in mm. he was looking for everybody that does can he actually somebody. believe in his lawsuit though? he probably do I mean um, he, he's not paying for um, legal services I guess so I guess that's a plus for him so he mm. probably do um, within himself and I don't even know what he's asking for what does he want? He wants damages well, he's paid. he's backed up by the, the law. So... Uh, what is he demanding now? That's the question. That he wants them to be brought to... To brought to justice. So yes. serve them according to the law. What, how is it punishable? <laughs> what is the judge going to say? The magistrate court? What is, mm, what are you they cannot going just to say? go and meet the judge that Elsie stole my 
food oh, and what what do you want from me is it just he is he fighting on behalf of the um, nigerian government or he's fighting for his own it's property he's fighting for that's what he said for his own property so yeah. what does he want for them to rebuild the property and then pay or for to damages. apologize pay for damages yeah. well he would have to decide he has that to decide that and, I, I don't and think that I've hasn't been that. made that that is not yet public knowledge but mm -hmm. i know that according to the law there will be punishment that will be stipulated for those offenses and like i said it is a misdemeanor it is not a criminal <laughs> offense so it is something that yeah you know we can talk over we can go to the you see what really court, stood out for state. me in this particular story is how he said that they all could knife together <laughs> like they planned because i can't even imagine like all the names of those people working mm. together like that's how many call two face i'm like guy let's make sure that all these houses are damaged and then don't so he also has to prove he has to prove savage. the conniving yeah exactly I'm, because i'm thinking of how this is yeah, going to lies on both parties actually to prove that look we were just doing what was right no, i don't think so i think if you're bringing someone if you're bringing someone to to um the law um, it's not my job to help you raise raise your case raise your case first let's see what you have that you're holding me on if not anyone anyone can just do that and say i okay, don't think his case is justified i don't even think they'll file it i don't even think it's going to make it to the court of law so it's there because they believe that there's a legal backing to his claims now how realistic are those claims those, those are the questions those are the questions or that is the question we should be asking mm -hmm. how realistic is it what can the law actually do about it. Mm. What are the punishments that should be anyway. that are obtainable for these offenses yeah. and stuff if like I'm that? You on know, that list, I won't lose sleep, and I'm sure nobody's losing. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's so. why I asked. Hence um, the reason I asked the question in the beginning: that does he actually believe his own sir? Mm. Do you understand? Because I, for me, Boy, I don't like an own I'm, word I'm, now. If the court of law could allow him file it and believed in him, I guess that's the only belief in it, right? <laughs> so when they get but knowing, there, knowing the country now, I'm, this country now, uh, it just, I, I feel like it's <laughs> ridiculous that we are spending very expensive airtime to talk about this guy. Yeah, I like that we are not mentioning his name. We have talked about other things so, yeah, that are happening on. Yeah, with like you, you know the passports right. being seized, people's returned, accounts being frozen, frozen. nurses and that DJ Switch seeking asylum in Canada mm -hmm. allegedly. <laughs> yes, and got it as well allegedly. Allegedly, Since all allegedly. <laughs> yeah, but but what do you guys think of that though? Because I I, I know a few people that um, journalists as well that are really worried about the fact that um, they 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 pay they played a huge role in the entire movement either by broadcasting or doing several reports mm -hmm. on the protest, and they are beginning to get worried, and some of them are beginning to think of seeking asylum in Canada or other countries. What um, do you guys in, think? In do you think is that deep right have now? Not, is that deep for some people? Uh, mm. Really. If their lives have not been directly threatened, or yeah. not gotten any message, then I think they are, they are okay. Um, and if you want to seek asylum, if you have enough documents to claim that you think your life uh, might be at risk, mm. then, I mean, you can seek asylum. It doesn't have to be Canada. It, can, it mm. could be anywhere, really. Um, so if you have to choose a country to seek asylum right now, where would you go? Right now. Hmm. Just to make lights. Anywhere as long as I'm in this country. <laughs> How about you? Asylum. Australia. You know. Oh, ah, yes, I know. <laughs> Right. So um, our heart really goes out to everyone that is really affected by the strict rules, allegedly. See, I'm quoting, you know, so you see, I don't want to seek asylum. Allegedly, people that are concerned, people that have names that have been mentioned in all of this. And I just hope one way or the other, we, we, we all wake up as a country, as a person, as a people. Let's just wake up and know that, look, wake up to smell the co coffee or tea and tea time. We'll be right back after the short break.